welcome back to my channel it's here welcome here welcome back what it is or welcome if you're new and if you are new go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below why not turn on your post notifications while we're at it um so today i did a full get ready with me i uh, hopefully i can insert everything um i'm gonna show you guys my outfit um my hair how i did my hair today and then i'm gonna show you guys my makeup um, i'm about to go to this event tonight so follow me on instagram so you know where what i'm doing and where i'm going and stuff because i also post some great content on insta you should just like this video okay it really helps it just really helps that's it be honest it just helps me please help me <laughs> um i love you guys and let's just keep on watching right now i'm gonna just start off with my hair i'm gonna be doing a get ready with me okay so you just want to get some bundles i'm gonna take two bundles from this curl it's like a water wave why is my energy low um i already have so many ponies on tutorials i'm gonna do an updated one um very soon so be on the lookout for that because i do my ponytails a little different now if you guys want a more detailed ponytail tutorial i'll link it down below Okay, so I'm about to do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I don't know how my brows are really looking. I don't know, they look a little harsher today, but you know, it's cool. My, I don't know which, oh, I got this eye shadow palette. Oh, and it's so good. Hmm. Okay, so I use this Violet Voss palette. It's my first time using something from Violet Voss. I want to say Ross, but Violet Voss, and it's so pretty. I don't know what I'm wearing tonight. I'm actually going to an event. It's like a, uh, it's called, from this company called House, and I think Lady Gaga is hosting it. So it should be fun. I think it's like a party actually. So hopefully it's lit. I wanna have a good night. So I'm getting ready for it. Yeah, I don't know what eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use. Maybe I'll use that one. Or I really like the pigment in that palette. Oh my God, I have the funniest story to tell you guys in a second. Give me two seconds. So my sister just called me. I have 14 siblings, so. You guys won't really know which sister, or I mean, I'm sure most of y'all aren't gonna know, but I know she's gonna watch, she's probably gonna watch this and she's gonna be mad <laughs> that I tell this story, but you know what, so what? Um, so my sister called me just now, my older sister, and she was like, girl, guess what just happened? So she said one of my little sisters had called her and told her she think somebody gave her something and i'm like what i'm tripping like what the freak when you think when you hear that you think automatically like a disease or something like a std or whatever but i know my little sister isn't having sex i don't think she is she better not be um so i was like what she was like she had a brownie so this little girl go she my sister though she's very i feel like she's very sheltered so she didn't really know, and I don't, she's just sheltered, you know? Okay, my camera cut off, I was telling a story. She's just sheltered, okay? But um, so she goes, someone was selling brownies, and her greedy self goes and buy a brownie. She's in college too, it's her first year. She, I guess a couple hours later, or I don't know, an hour later after she took the brownie, she like started feeling hella high. And you know, when you on a, a, a edible high, you can't shake that. It's gonna be on your system for hours. You just gotta go to sleep and chill, watch a movie, drink water and eat, okay? <laughs> the munchies. So she don't know how to act. It is so funny because she didn't know it was a weed brownie. She said she stopped eating the brownie because she realized that it wasn't tasting right. And I'm just, I thought that story was, so, we all, my, my siblings, we were laughing because we know she's gonna be okay, but like, 
I think all of us have, has had an edible before and girl, it's no joke. It's so pretty. This palette is a Charlotte Tilbury, the Starry Eyes, Hypnotize palette and I think it's so beautiful. There we go. Maybe I can mix the two palettes. Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go into this palette first. And I'm gonna go in with this Love Glowish. I don't know what I'm wearing, so hopefully it doesn't mess up, clash my outfits. I got some new products that I've been using, makeup products, and I've been really liking them. Let me see. Ooh, okay, pigment. Wow. I want to do like something simple just because I don't like to have my makeup look crazy when I go out. You know, I like the simple, not crazy, but you know, to each his own. I like a simple glam. She is higher than a mud right now. It's so funny because she's never done drugs. Like I'm pretty sure of it. Hopefully I'm sure. She's not the type. And she was so scared and anxious. She is hilarious. I like, that's my type, that's my type. I like this formula though, I'm super like risen, like a dream. Y'all, oh, if y'all are watching this right now and y'all did not see my last vlog, go watch it. I think it's just entertaining. I think it's one of my best vlogs. Right, so I'm gonna go into this Violet Boss Essentials palette and I'm gonna take this cinnamon. I really love, it's so rich. Hey, that's my type. I don't know what I'm gonna wear. But I think this is like a clubbish. So I think I'm gonna wear this jumpsuit that I always wear and I love it. It's my favorite going out outfit. I wore it like four times already. I know Instagram is probably tired of seeing me in this outfit, but I don't care. I really like it. That's why we buy things, because we like it. And the fact that if people online See us wear something more than once they're like dang she she liked that outfit huh she don't have nothing else she can't change why does she keep wearing it like because i bought it period that means i like it i just wanted to say that don't ask why i'm wearing an outfit again no one has commented that but i'm just saying <laughs> future reference no but i see it on like other people's stuff you know I feel like I have the best support system, like the best supporters, the best like people that follow me and watch me because y'all are so positive and I'm here for it. I love it, I love every minute of it. That's my type. I know I keep telling y'all I've been loving this stuff. I've literally been using it so freaking much. But I'm gonna mix it with my NARS today. I cannot go to Sephora without buying NARS foundation. I feel like it's so satisfying when you put on foundation. I feel like NARS hit the jackpot with this formula and my, I think these two, these foundations are the best foundations on the market for me. Um, I really like the Fenty foundation though too because I, I grabbed that now, the hydrating one. Actually, you know what, there's so many good ones. But the ones that I just keep grabbing is those three. I'm gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible to contour as always. This is the shade Coco. I should Uber, but I hate Ubering. I hate taking Ubers by myself. Like, I don't like to Uber. I just feel like as a woman, I wanna get a driver, but then again, like, you gotta find a driver that you trust. But then again, you will still feel, you will feel more confident with the driver because you know them. It's the person who always um, come pick you up. Cause I know Alyssa, she has a driver and I think it's pretty cool because sometimes you just got to be careful as a female out here in these streets. Especially if you go into events at night, you know, and then you come back and you're like lit or something. I try to get um, professional drivers every time I go out just because people are crazy. And I'd rather spend the extra money than to 
not be safe, you know? I feel like the number one question everyone asks <laughs> when you get in an Uber is like, okay, how long have you been driving for Uber? <laughs> but anyway, so I was talking about Uber driver and he was a professional driver. So there, there's actually this company that like, I guess, give them cars and stuff. And these are people that have to go through extensive like background checks to drive. So I feel like Uber has like a professional, like a luxury driver like thing. So I feel more safe riding in an Uber like that. This concealer, this right here, Kevin Aquan, super full coverage beat to the max covering all your dark circles, any dark marks, like this stuff right here is nothing to play with. It's so thick, like it's just, it's crazy, but it's amazing. You don't even need that much, but I mean, I end up blending it off anyway, but I don't need it. You can literally just dab it. And it doesn't blend, like it doesn't dry out fast either, which I love. Cause I feel like a lot of concealer that has full coverage, it dries out, you have to work with it fast. And this one doesn't, you just can like let it sit if you want, you know? I like to stop and not take my concealer all the way up there with this part of the sponge. I'll take the butt and kind of like blend it out. I feel like blending is the key to great makeup. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath powder today. It's very fine, super duper fine. If you want your skin to look like skin after, this is like the best powder. Oh, I'm actually gonna take this powder. I finally decided to get it because I always see a little, oh. I always see Alyssa and Arnell using this um, Sephora, the Micro, Scoop, Micro Smooth. I think this is the powder that they use. So I'm gonna try that. I Man, I like it. It just makes it, it's like that little bit of enhancement that we need. My tight, good as my tight. So I'm gonna take this Bobbi Brown eyeliner in black and then this fine ultra line Bobbi Brown. Brush. Taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist <laughs> and my Mac um, Oh Darling highlighter. So I feel like this is the only lip liner I can ever find. This is the LA Girl lip liner in chocolate, but it works very good. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Unbutton. <laughs> Mascara. Okay. I'll be back, figure out an outfit. Okay, so I ended up putting on the outfit that I always wear. Don't say nothing to me, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the finished look. I think it's so cute. I'm ready to go out, I'm ready to be and turn up so yeah that's pretty much it i'll link everything in the description box down below i'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a second i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you guys like the full 3d hair makeup outfit ready with me some boobies looking a little juicy i'm saying not really because when you turn to the side it's like nothing there. okay so i'm gonna show you my outfit if I I feel like I gained a little weight. I know I look skinny still, but I feel like I gained a little weight because when I was trying to put this outfit on, it was not getting on it. The zipper wasn't working, but this is how the top look. Um, this is a bodysuit. This is a jumpsuit. I'm on this chair. Hopefully, I don't fall. Oh my God, I'm turning up. This is how it looks right here. Just a, uh, oh my God. I'm gonna try and take a fly photo or I'm gonna try and have somebody record my fit because this isn't working clearly. I'm gonna wear these shoes. I just got them from Gucci. Um, they're like super cute. It has like a little Gigi 
Um, but yeah, I haven't even worn these yet, so I'm gonna walk in them tonight. What time is it? 